I wanted to talk a little bit about Olio Levy and actually start bringing up prospects and assets that the Vancouver Canucks and other NHL teams already have in their systems. So I'm starting things off a little bit here with the Finnish defenseman that the Vancouver Canucks drafted in 2016, fifth overall, and a player who has never played in the NHL, a player who hasn't actually played anything in a few months, and asking what exactly is coming up for your levy. Now, I'm asking this because we're in the middle of the summer, and my most recent Yolevi video, I think it was like around May, April-ish, I'm not really too sure, it was asking what are your expectations for your levy, but I think just taking a look at how everything has progressed, I think it's appropriate, I guess, to make another video just a few months later before the season actually begins, going over Yolevi, what exactly it is, the problem with him, why he hasn't been playing, and the path for him going forward. We all kind of know the story. Yolevi was drafted in 2016. He was drafted ahead of guys who have made impacts in the NHL like Kachuk, Sergachev, Keller, Chitrin, etc. These guys were all taken after Yolevi, and... He hasn't actually shown anything at the NHL level, mostly because he's had a little bit of a tough time really developing his game after his draft year, and he hasn't been the healthiest in that span too. Because he played with the London Knights, he was with that incredibly stacked team with Mitch Marner, Kachuk, Dvorak, Max Jones, etc. Yolevi was an absolute stud with that team. Then, going over into... The Liga with the TPS, he was pretty good as a 19 turning 20 year old playing in the Liga in a pro league. He was pretty solid over there. And a lot of Canucks fans were saying, yeah, okay, this guy's got top four potential. He's not elite like we drafted him to be, but he's definitely got some NHL upside. Then eventually come the Utica Comets in his 20 turning 21 year old season. He only played himself 18 games, and he got 13 points, which was really good, but he suffered a season-ending knee injury, which he's recently recovered from. He's recently been allowed to actually start skating again, and there's an interesting discussion to be had on what's next for Yolevi going into 2019-2020. The Vancouver Canucks are in a position where they've gotten themselves a ton of defensive depth just in the past few weeks here. Just starting things off in free agency, hey, Oscar Fantenberg, Jordy Ben, Tyler Myers. And then, take a look at the prospects that they have added. They got Quinn Hughes. So, that's four new defensemen on this lineup going into 2019-20 that weren't here at the start of last season. Now, we should also note that guys like Pouliot and Shen, not on the team. Ben Hutton, currently not on the team. He's actually not on any team right now, so that's going to be really interesting to follow up on as well. But the Vancouver Canucks are in a position where they do have Edler, Hughes, Stetcher, Myers, Tanev, Ben, and Fattenberg, and those are seven NHL-caliber defensemen. Add in the other guys that have seen somewhat of their share of NHL ice, guys like Biega, guys like Sautner, Brisebois, Tevez, Rafferty, and you have yourself a pool of guys that are not amazing, but a group of guys that can actually play NHL ice once in a while. Yolevi falls right in the same area, in my eyes, as the guys like Sautner, Brisebois, Tevez, maybe just a little bit underneath Biega, because Biega does have NHL experience. He's played 179 NHL games. Can you believe that? But Yolevi is in a position where he is 21, he's turning 22 next year. He's in a position where I believe if he's not on the Vancouver Canucks by... I'll say January or February, we're going to have a little bit more of a rougher time than I believe that we thought we would. Because Yolevi is on a team, the Vancouver Canucks, that is kind of jam-packed at D. And the only way he's actually going to find himself on the team, in my opinion, is A, he outperforms some of these guys at the training camp, like we saw Tyler Mott did with Sam Gagne a year ago, or 
we fall victim to the classic case of Vancouver Canucks injuries, which is going to happen because, you know, injuries and the Vancouver Canucks, it's like Thanos. Inevitable. So, taking a look at everything that we have here, I'm thinking that Yolevi does get a shot at NHL ice eventually throughout the line this season. And it's kind of unfortunate because this is the exact same projection that I had with Yolevi last season. It's just that getting his knee totally screwed up didn't allow that to happen. But I'm of the belief that if Yolevi was healthy the entirety of last season, he would have seen at least 30 games of NHL ice. That's what I personally believe. And going over into next season, I believe that Yolevi still has that same trajectory, but there isn't that guarantee, especially with the amount of depth ahead of him and the amount of depth that's going to be on the team. But going over into what exactly we have with the Canucks, we're going to get injured. So Yolevi's time to shine will come eventually. But I'd be kind of surprised, not really surprised, but I wouldn't expect it if Yolevi fought his way onto the roster day one. If that did happen though, that would be really awesome. I'd like that a lot. But as for Yolevi and Utica, I'm expecting the same points per game from Yolevi, if not more because he is somebody who needs to develop at that rate. Because if Yolevi slows down, this injury gets him off the ice, and once he comes back, he's not the same player anymore, I think we're really starting to approach some pretty bad territory with this player. But that's only if, of course, his development at the AHL come 1920 is not up to par with what he was at last year. And don't get me wrong, we all love to see our upwards trajectories of our prospects, but not playing for almost a full year will do things to a player. And let's just say that I don't want to guarantee anything, but Yolevi was a good player with Utica last season, and I really do hope that he does continue that next season, to the point where once he gets onto the Vancouver Canucks lineup, we are all very, very excited of everything he'll be able to do. That's what I believe is up next for Oli Olevi. Comment down below what you think. Hope you enjoyed this video, Social Extra Social Sign 9, and bye. <laughs>